welcome to our Puente Pixels 2020 behind the scenes tour. From here you can see the nerve center of the operation. We have the main Falcon controller box and we also have the smaller controller box for the floodlights which were a new addition this year. So here is the Falcon F16 V3 that runs the vast majority of our show. We've got uh, a differential expansion board which allows us to plug in four differential expansions and allow us to locate props up to 250 feet away and these three network cables here run out to those differential expansion boards that are located throughout the yard. On the right hand side is our new addition this year. This was a quick prop build to run the uh, pixel floodlights, we've got an ESP pixel stick and a Meanwell 24 volt uh, power supply. There will be a more detailed build video coming later. So over here on the right hand side of our display we can see the grey box which houses a differential receiver which runs this side of the display. This was a rebuild of the E131 bridge and pixel extender. We had a lot of trouble with this this year and we ultimately ended up retiring it. We just couldn't get it to work reliably on the network. We also have a 23 inch Bosco Chroma Star. This was going to be on as a tree topper on top of our Chroma pole, but we didn't actually get around to finishing the Chroma pole. So we've just deployed the star here as a addition to the display. So now we've moved to the center of our display and this is another new addition for this year. These are 20 of the Peace family pixel stakes from Boss Gaio Studio. These have been a really great addition to our display this year. See the LinkedIn video up above for more details on how these were built. From here you can also see uh, the new garage frame which also has a separate build video which I will also link in down below. So now we've moved over towards the left hand side of the display. Here are two of the Boscaio trees that we've relocated from the bias whale where they were in 2018. We also took out the original 800 LED light arch. Uh, we've just wired up four sets of 150 light LED lights and put them over the top of the bush in the place and connected these up to the same channels on the Reynard where the arch was so the original arch effects will still make an arch like effect across the bush. So now we're over at the far left hand side of our display with our light river which consists of 200 square pixels in four strands of 50 pixels and we also have part of our static display. We have two sandhill cranes which just light up with LED pixels and are controlled by the Reynard controller. In the back we have some of our pixel icicles along with the regular house LED icicles. Thank you very much for watching and if you have any suggestions or comments or questions please leave them down below.